Hola y bienvenido a estar en el lipstick. Al final la vida que tengo puesta para este video es para Pat McGrath en Skull Modern Woman. These earrings are by a local store and this sweater is my husband's. But don't tell him. <laughs> Zara's new in shit collection. Let's get into it, bitches. Número uno. The pointed toe boots that are going to be trending for 2022. If you haven't seen the shoes that are trending for spring summer 2022 that I have out, I will link it up above and down below. This is one of them's brand new. Since we're going into spring summer, you want to opt for a brighter color, for a color that you wouldn't probably normally wear that you can get away with for the spring and summer. This is a size nine. I love the look of these. They have that kitten heel. This is the type of boot that you can wear every day. It doesn't have to be just reserved only for night. It looks like it has lots of ample room. So if you have thicker legs, this will be something great for you. I'm gonna try them on and let you know if they're comfortable, if they look great, and if it's something that you should get into your wardrobe. <laughs> Can't beat them, join them, right? <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I love these. My favorite two from these spring trends that are coming in is the gladiators and the white boots. I love them. They're just different. If you want to embark, like I said earlier, on something lighter, but you're afraid of like dirtying them because of the color and whatnot, opt for something more affordable. But what makes these boots a little bit more unique is that on the top, they have so much room. They have that ample room there and just gives the boot a different look. So modern, so chic. It's also a size nine, fits me perfectly. Super comfortable. I love, 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 love them. Next is the dupe to the Versace shoes, the Medusa Evaders platform sandals that I just recently got that I can't stop talking about clearly because I already mentioned it twice in this video. But these are the dupe of the brand new sandals and shoes that are out now. These cost $119. They're definitely lighter than the Versace ones. And if you love the trend, but you know, it's something that probably you wouldn't wear as often and you don't want to invest so much money in it, then this is definitely one that you should try and get your hands on that could be a contender for you. They have it in black. And this is a more, I would like to say, in the looser sense of the word, conservative option compared to the real Medusas because these are lighter, the platform is not as extended and as, as in your face as the Medusa pumps. They have a more, kind of more of an elegant, more streamlined look. We're going to try them on. These are fab too. These are absolutely fab. I stay true to what I said earlier that these shoes are like a more refined, more slightly more conservative, more elegant sister to the Versace Medusa Evaders. This one is also not as scary as in the looser sense of the word. These are easier to wear is really what I'm trying to say. The others are comfortable for platforms, but they're higher and they're heavier. So also size nine, they fit me to a T. I would say get your own size if you're gonna get them. They're also a great option if you're looking to dabble into the trend. Next is the other big trend coming in and it's the suede slip-ons, slippers, loafers. They're going to be big again. It has like that more streamlined, more elegant type of chic look. These are going to be great for the spring summer for people that are just looking for a little bit more comfort. Not everything that's in trend has to be super uncomfortable. You can take remnants of it and apply it to your daily real wear. These cost $69.90 and I think they're a great option if you're looking for the trend but these are the new ones that are out from Zara so let's see how they look. Another great find suede flats trend for spring summer these are nine they fit me to a T they're super comfortable and they're loafers I mean it doesn't get more comfortable than that. Next is one of my favorite trends coming in and it's the gladiator type of sandals. I don't know what it is with this type of style, but I'm obsessed with it. I was obsessed with it when it first came out years ago. I believe it was by Versace or Gucci, I can't remember. I've been obsessed with them ever since. These call $89.90 and they have like that abstract type of heel that we see a lot. They're not super high. They're kind of giving me slightly kitten heel, a little bit higher than your standard kitten heel. This is what makes the sandal. It's the gladiator part right here and you're gonna see them when I put them on because these are the type of sandals you just need to wear for you to understand how they look. They look great just upon first glance. So let's put them on and see how they look. They are fantabulous. <laughs> They're great. 
They fit me big around the leg area, but the great thing about this is that if you do have thicker legs, on the strap itself, it has ample room. It gives you lots of space for you to add in holes manually to fit you perfectly. They're as comfortable as heels are gonna get. Remember there's different, in my opinion, there's different scales to comfortability when it comes to heels. I wear heels all the time. These are on the more comfortable side, they're stylish, they're beautiful. And if you want to embark on the new trend and want to do so affordably, then this is one I highly recommend. I just gotta add in some few more holes. It needs to become a little bit more holy. And lastly, the ballet slippers. This is for all the women that are here behind the screens rejoicing and saying thank you for comfortability and I hear you. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really a fan of ballet slippers in general, but like I said, the great thing about trends is that they come out, even though it's a ballet and it's trending, they come out with a multitude of different looks for the ballet slippers. So there's something for everyone. And I'm sure that if this is a trend that I want to embark on, I can find a more fashion forward type of ballet slippers that I will find highly stylish and sexy and whatnot and still comfortable and still be on trend, right? These cost $49.90. These are black and they're very standard. Let's try it on and see if it's true to size, if it's worth it, and if it looks cute, more importantly, because none of us are going to shop unless we find them cute. That's another point. Oh my God. Dare I say that these are high key surprising me? I was just talking so much BS earlier that I'm not really a fan of ballet slips, but I'm kind of feeling that. This is a great example of why sometimes you have to go out of your comfort zone and try certain things on because you might actually be surprised and I am surprised. Okay, Daisy, calm down. They're so comfortable. They're so comfortable, I don't even know how to walk in them. I'm a size nine, they're true size nine. This is one I highly, highly, highly recommend. My favorite two are the white boots and the gladiators, but I think those are the two trends that I'm gonna embark on for spring summer. Which trend are you embarking on?